we're gonna get into this because this transformation thing, it couldn't come at a better time. Because right now it's like February, everyone had those New Year's resolutions or whatever their dream is right now. February is like a shit month of the year, it's kind of cold everywhere. Um, it's kind of like a very slow, stagnant part of the season. There's not much holidays or celebrations. It's kind of like it's a very, very slow pulse of life period that we're in right now. And a lot of people are just kind of like wondering what the fuck, right? It's fine, hard to find that that uh, intrinsic motivation to keep to keep the fight alive. When I started uh, way back when, when I started Ranger School, man, I went into that program in the best shape of my life. If you go straight through it, 70 days. 70 days, that's going to take a little bit of everything you got, physically but mo mostly mentally. You're going into that endeavor, and why do you go into it? Because the ideology of being an elite, to being a ranger, is something that really makes you feel proud if you can be part of that, that core group, man. So that's the reason you want to change, right? That's the reason probably you're looking at where you currently are and why you want to go into this transformation because where you currently are is something that, that is no longer acceptable to your terms. You want, to, you want more of life. You, you've been watching some motivational things, maybe, you know, seeing some, some of the stuff I, I, I've said and somehow it's hits you in a way that, yeah, dude, I want to get there too. I want to do this too. I want more out of my life. I want to make something in my life, right? So that's the ideology that starts the process. Yeah, I want to be a ranger, so therefore I'm going to enter that. That cannot be all it's about. You have to have a, an overwhelming force of a want, a need, a belief inside yourself that you believe in this. And once that happens, combined with the ideology of where you can be the end state goal, once that is solidified, then you move forward with ever, without ever looking back. When you're moving forward, you're moving to where that greater good is. That person that you want to be, you must already be up here. You must believe it before you embark on that journey. If you don't, what will happen is the old you, the one you're trying to change from, the old subliminal thought processes will arise and start to take over you as the wear and tear begins, as the struggle starts to build up as the task at hand becomes overwhelming, as the days become weeks and months with still no resolve yet, still going through the work in progress, as that continues to happen, you must have something greater that overrides all that despair to make it through. How do you do that? You shoulder the weakness. Sideline that motherfucker. You go into the endeavor, ranger school, I went into it. I knew what I was going into. I knew it wasn't going to be easy. I knew I wanted to be that person at the end of the race, standing strong. I knew that, that those 70 days of sacrifice will be paid tenfold the rest of my life and other endeavors where I'm going through something hard in my life. And I'm wondering if I had the intestinal fortitude to get through it. I can go back in time to when I was in ranger school. And motherfucker, I made it then. I can do it now. It's a different theater of life. But the same fundamental principles of dedication, sacrifice, work ethic, due diligence to oversee the current situation for the betterment of where it's going to go will still continue the journey for me. I go into the endeavor knowing I am going to see the hardships and the headaches along the way. I welcome that. They don't surprise me. I expect them. That's a huge different terminology. Ideology going into an endeavor. I went into ranger school. I, I grabbed my bags in the apartment I was living in in Columbus, Georgia. I came through the gate at, at 1.15 or 2 in the morning. As soon as I came through the gate, I got decked from behind by one of the RIs, the ranger instructors, on my face in the mud. This motherfucker's calling me names and stuff. I must have done a thousand push-ups before I was even five yards into the, in, in, into the compound. We started with like 450 some people. By the time, time the sun came up, 160 were left. Why is that? Why did they quit so fast? Because the ideology of being a ranger is all they had. That was their driving force. That ideology is just words and thought process. It's, nothing, it's not strong enough to combat all the wear and tear it's going to take to transform that person into being that elite person. They went into the arena hoping just, they wanted that title. They didn't understand the framework of what that title meant. 
If you understand what it means, you understand how valuable it is. How it's desired upon. Anything that's desired takes everything you have. So you accept that. When I went to ranger school, I said, yo, 70 days, I'm a prisoner. I'm a prisoner to this situation. I'm going through a sentence that when I get through, I will be that person I want to be. But until I get through that, I'm not going to think about the comforts of life. What it's like to actually have sheets and a pillow. What it's like to have food cooked that's warm. What it's like to actually sleep. To have nutrition in your body. To have take a shower. To be able to sit on a toilet. And after you finish taking a dump, wiping your ass. Those little luxuries in life were no longer present in the situation. For me to think about them would only cause a demise and a weakness for the journey I'm in. I had to separate myself from them. I could not compare where I was to where I once was. I had to look forward saying, hey, I'm willing to sacrifice today for tomorrow's betterment. Knowing that going into it, when I hit all these adversities and all these walls, they weren't shocking to me. They were expected. And when they hit me, I welcomed them. Because I knew by going through them, it would change me to that person I wanted to be. Not the ideology of the person, but the materialistic value. The, 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 the values internally, the, 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 um, the, the, uh, the blueprints of success there. I knew that these were all the workings. The ingredients of life for success, they were all little lessons that once mastered would be the, the, the lines that formulates the picture of the person I wanted to be. I had to go through them. I didn't want someone to give me something. I wanted to earn the motherfucker. So going into that, that arena, that endeavor, expecting that set me up for success. Big difference there. If all I'm doing is hoping to get the goal, the journey will be impossible. You have to understand the goal, the value of the goal, why that is so special. 